my characters will have after a little bit of trouble. All that they desire. Is this true, Once there were no two hearts so open. No feeling so in harmony. Miss Maria Dash. Edward Ferris, how do you do? Ellen Dashwood. If you wish to practice the art of fiction, to be the equal of a masculine author, experience is vital. I require so much. I think I shall never see a man that I can really and truly love. What I desire above all in a wife is firmness of character. To become engaged at 19 to a young naval officer who had no fortune and no expectations, you would indeed have been throwing yourself away. These last few weeks have been very happy ones for me. And I don't think I've ever been happier. We love him. In the middle of the night. Cool. Sweating in my bed. I have learned of Mr. Wisley's life project. How can you of all people dispose of yourself with that affection? How can I dispose of myself with it? Catch me! <laughs> I wish I could have Every time we have met, it has seemed impossible to say what I really think and feel. Now more than ever, run away with me. If you could have your robot back, even like this, would you do it? Am I then to understand that Louisa is to marry Captain Bennett, not Captain Wentworth? Yes. Mr. Edward Ferris, we are engaged. Tell me, for heaven's sake, what is the matter? Excuse me. To be married to Miss Gray with fifty thousand pounds. Brothers and sisters, do you have a work at all? Enough. Why? What are the names of your brothers and sisters? On whom do they depend? My oh, sweet, sweet friend, you will sink and you will sink with you. Weak and resentful I have been, but never inconstant. Really I have loved none but you. My brother is lately married to Miss Lucy Stevens, releasing me from my engagement. Every day since I first saw you, my love for you has grown. Will you marry me? <laughs>